Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello, Gary, and welcome. Good morning. It's good, good to have you, as always. I um, appreciate it. It's a little difficult this way, but happy to contribute. <laughs> so look forward to the questions this morning. Very good. So Governor Kemp has just issued uh, basically reopening certain business, an executive order reopening certain businesses to return to work. How does our city order for the city of Columbus coordinate with that decision? You know, that's a good question. And, and generally we would say federal law preempts state law. If there's inconsistencies, you know, the, the higher authority would be the one that rules. I guess that will be applicable here. I'm not certain. I think the big issue really is uh, the scope and how do you execute it? You know, who, how are we still going to have to have social distancing? Do we have limits on how many can gather? Uh, I'm just not sure how you execute it. And I think we're going to need some guidance on that. Maybe we'll get that in the coming days because Friday, what do we have? Tattoo parlors, gyms, barbers, and uh, bowling alleys opening. And then Monday is the big deal, the restaurants. So, you know, there's a lot of questions about it. One question would be if you don't follow the city rules and someone gets sick, is your business responsible for that? I, you know, there's just a lot of questions that are going to be part of our life for many months to come, I'm afraid. Yeah, and, and especially, I get to, I guess, to that point, restaurants, you know, are, would they be held liable for if anything were to happen uh, if they opened a full dine-in on Monday? It's totally uncharted waters. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anybody knows the answers to that. I mean, one thing that may be a little instructive is the governor in Georgia also uh, executed an executive order holding uh, health care providers immune from negligence. So while this is going on, uh, there is no possibility of a negligence lawsuit against a health care provider. But that, there are exceptions, gross negligence or recklessness. How do you define those? Mm -hmm. and, and so that's, there's all kinds of gray areas still in the law, but you know, we don't know the scope. Does that mean nursing homes aren't going to be uh, subject to negligence suits? I don't know. I mean, we just, I, I assume that's what it means, but we don't know a lot of these answers. How long is it going to last? Right. Uh, like I said, what defines gross negligence? I guess that's left to a jury. Lots of unanswered questions. It's really going to be an interesting time, you know, for better or worse. It is going to be interesting in uh, in our legal system and how we resolve these questions. Yes, very, very interesting to, to be sure and a lot of changes uh, on the way. Thank you so very much for joining us today, Gary. We'll see you on the very next legal break.